welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Arms Corps plans to reorganize itself to better meet the changing demands on the South African National Defence Force and the local defence industry. Keith Campbell joins me to discuss the company's plans. Hi Keith. Arms Corps has a new CEO as well as a relatively new board. How have they worked to stabilize the organization? What the new board did uh, was to greatly improve relations between the uh, organization, which is South Africa's Defense Acquisition Agency, and the department it's meant to work for, Department of Defense uh, and Military Veterans, and with the Parliamentary Oversight Committee, the Portfolio Committee on Defense and Military Veterans. There had been a, a state of what uh, has been described as an impasse between the previous board and uh, the department and the, the uh, parliamentary committee, which the new board under uh, the new chairperson, which is a retired Vice Admiral Johannes Mudimo, uh, managed to get rid of, to overcome. Uh, basically, the, the change of personnel was decisive. CEO Kevin Wakeford believes the organization needs to take a new approach. What will this entail? Well, uh, Kevin Wakeford uh, was appointed uh, earlier this year, uh, and he sees uh, a need, and uh, the, the board also sees a need, to make Arms Corps more efficient, uh, better focused on serving its prime function, which is to support the South African National Defense Force, uh, they are seeking to break down the, the silos that exist within the organization. The organization, uh, for example, is divided into three main uh, branches. There is acquisition and disposals. Uh, there's research and development because Arms Corps is also a search and development agency and it controls such things as the Gerotech uh, vehicle test uh, range vehicle test range complex, basically. Um, the Alcantan artillery test range. Uh, it has uh, specialist research and development companies, one could call them, uh, such as Ergotech, which covers ergonomics, Hazmat, which covers protective clothing against hazardous materials, chemical materials, biological materials, that sort of thing. And of the third element is the Simonstown Dockyard, not to be confused with the Simonstown Naval Base. They're both located on the same site, but they're separate entities. So he's trying to uh, improve coordination between the different branches of the organization. Uh, the, they're also seeking uh, to adopt a new approach uh, hitherto, Arms Corps operate in a project-by-project project approach. The Air Force needs a new fighter airplane. Uh, the Army needs a new 4x4, four four, and a project is developed. Uh, and he is trying to get a, a more broader, more inclusive um, approach uh, to defense acquisition underway. Uh, modern defense systems are getting very, very complicated, and they're you have multiple technologies within a single system. So obviously, if you can get better coordination between the different branches of Arms Corps, it will facilitate the acquisition of these incredibly complex systems uh, and make it le more efficient, less costly. It won't, will never be cheap, but uh, avoid unnecessary waste of money. The company's management will now focus on making the organization fit for purpose to meet the demands of the SANDF and the defense industry. What are the plans in this regard? Well, of course, they, they cannot give any details yet. They have launched an, uh, an inquiry into the internal structure and organization of Arms Corps. And that is going to give them the information they need to undertake uh, the restructuring. The, they do intend to restructure, but the exact uh, format of the restructuring is yet to be determined. It's very important, uh, Wakeford stresses, 
restructuring is not a euphemism for downsizing. It really is restructuring. They're not going to downsize. Um, they don't employ all that many people. It's less than a thousand. And most of those people are highly skilled and they don't want to lose them. So it's going to be a reorganization that's going to take place. Now, one of the things is, uh, you mentioned the defense industry. Wakeford sees, and uh, I think it's safe to say that the board is supportive of this, that while the primary customer of Arms Corps is the South African National Defense Force, in a very important sense, the South African defense industry is also a client of Arms Corps. Arms Corps has a critical role to play in helping the local industry to develop it, to sustain it. Um, they are, after all, the uh, big spenders on, on the local defense scene. The only spenders on the local <laughs> defense scene. Um, and one of the things that they're considering is the possibility of developing innovative funding mechanisms for local defense companies, particularly the medium scale and the small scale companies, because they are not getting the support they need from the uh, mainstream financial sector. And if they don't get funding, they can't make investments, they can't grow. So again, it's very early days. They're going to have to undertake research into what is needed and what they can provide, if anything, before they can come up with anything concrete. But the concept is, uh, the interest is restructuring Arms Corps to make it more efficient, more responsive, and to see what ways Arms Corps can help develop the local defense industry, especially the smaller companies in the sector. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.